so as soon as you walk into this place, guys, look at this. You're greeted with huge animal crates. There's one, two, three right there. Rusty, clearly stacked with poop. Like that is really thick layers of whatever. That's pretty disgusting. There's a mount. Schnauzers right there, looks like. And look at the cobwebs. This is unbelievable. I've never seen anything like this. This is what you see in the movies. Now this room we cannot get into, but you can see more dog crates. I feel like whoever was living here not only was a breeder, but got sick and like the animals just took over the house. But we're gonna go check up, check out, ah, check out upstairs first, and come back down and kind of go through it all. But this is incredible. A random find. Well, this was kind of like a spot I looked, I found, and I was curious about it. So we came to check it out, and it's absolutely incredible. Whoa. So the floor is very squishy there, guys. I'm not going to go too far in, but look at this. Ceilings come right down the roof. Everything. Like, it's so rotten. And you can see over there, you got... We can get over to that side after, but you can see stuff still left everywhere. I'm not going to go in this room, obviously, because it's just way too dangerous, guys. Like this house is in very, very, very decayed state. You know, this whole side of the wall all coming apart. But you do have this nice little octagon window here. Don't want to get too close, but there's a little peek outside. And then right here, got a nice bedroom, two beds, two single beds. But look at the ceiling, all caving in. Like I would not, I'm not going to step foot in here. I think the closest I'm going to get is to the threshold of the door. And, you know, that's about it. Enough to kind of see. I bet there's really interesting stuff in here. Got an old foot picture there and a cool lamp. But you got major black mold. The water is dripping as I'm standing right here. The wall has got amazing texture. But let's see if we can get to the other side of this room over here. I'm going to try to not dizzy you guys by spinning so much. Some more Crocs. It's this little thing. Oh, it goes. Oh, my gosh. Well, we'll get over there when we can. What's this little fella? Some sort of little stand that's not opening. I don't know. A lot of interesting stuff here. Well, I don't know. There's just a lot of stuff. It's hard to say whether or not it's interesting. Now, I do like that chair. A creepy doll. And new les grands homes. I don't know whatever that means. Oh, I got a safe that's open. There's nothing of interest in it. Look at this cobweb. Right here, just hanging and getting blown around in the breeze. Like, this place has been decaying for a very long time. I have no idea anything about it. I tried to do a quick little look up on the address and didn't really find anything before we came. But I'm I'm suspecting, like, not only the person was definitely a breeder, but I think they might have been a bit of a hoarder, judging by how this bathroom is and the shape that it's in. And here's the other side of that room. It looks like it's okay. But you can see up there the gaping hole in the roof. Some family photos. I'm not going to go through rifling through them. Look at this. You got all the shoes still hanging up there. This gentleman here. I wonder if he was the owner. It's quite likely. Mind you, you wouldn't have pictures of yourself. Well, you would. And the clothes still hung. And I got to be careful because I can see... Some gross molds and stuff growing on the floor. But look at this doll. The TV stand and it's all leaning forward. Meaning that it's going to cave in to the floor below. Oh, it says Dolores right there. So I guess the wife's named Dolores. that The woman that lived here. I'm glad there's a lot of air flowing here guys. Because it's pretty nasty looking. And smelling. Little peek down the stairs. So strange. Now let me get a light going. Closet. Oh, it's starting to stink. Full of clothing here. Bird cage. 
Lots of clothing. Oh, there's like bird seed everywhere on the floor here. If you guys can see all that. Whoa. Okay, we got a bird cage here. We got some sort of animal cage, like a gerbil or a hamster. A little one maybe for a mouse. They got this weird like bathroom vanity here. Is this a bathroom? Oh my God, it is a bathroom. Oh, there's a toilet back there. Wow, so how would you even use the toilets up here? Both of them are like impossible to get to. And then look at this. Got more animal feeders. So I feel like this is a mental health issue in the end here because you can't access the toilet or the tubs. Everything's just covered in grossness. I mean, imagine brushing your teeth at this and like the mirrors, it's been eons that it's been disgusting. I mean, I don't want to judge, but it's, I kind of feel like this is a mental health thing that led to this place being in a state in which it is. You know, you'll get more clothes, ties. Mice have been getting into them. What's this here? I'm afraid to open it to find some body or something. Fortunately, we're good. Oof, moldy, stinking clothes. And then we got some more cages right here. Oh my God. Well, I don't need a light, but look at we got more cages and these must have been filled because they're full of shavings and and like food and stuff And like water bottles. Oh Okay, so guys, I don't know if you notice the color But coke is not that color. So that is disgusting It looks like somebody's been peeing Into the bottles which really would make sense based on no access to the toilets So this is definitely a hoarder situation guys Television there, big white flat screen, just rotten away. Like, uh, yeah, this is definitely a very bad hoarding situation. I mean, you can't use your toilets anymore. I bet this bucket is a poop bucket. I don't even want to go near it. But look at this, like all sorts of pee bottles right there, everywhere. Oh, well, this is really sad. I'm very sad to come across this because you know someone was trying to survive and living and just uh, not living very good. You know, it starts off small and then next thing you know, like, look at this. Cool old bird cages, but just so many cobwebs. Tells you someone, whoever was living here was not, not on their uh, A game at the end. And look at like, you got all these little crates. Ah, like, Master bedroom is just, it's pretty sad looking. Now one thing I'm noticing, there's really no art on the walls. No decoration, it's pretty stale or plain. I mean, I don't, there's an aquarium there. I don't know if, I don't wanna know. I don't really wanna know at all with most of this stuff. Wow, this is just pretty wild. And this is a beautiful piece. Like just an absolute gorgeous uh, cabinet. Nothing really in there. Some personal identity. Huh. MasterCard. I'm not going to show that. Visa, not going to show that. But I'm going to look to see what the names are to see if they align. Okay. And look at that yoga ball or whatever, that exercise ball. Like it's just covered. I wonder if... Animals are just free. Like there's pee bottles everywhere. All these like, it looks like there's a bird cage over there. Yeah, a couple bird cages. I wonder if like at one point these were just roaming free. There's a dead mouse right there. Like, look at this. It's just, I apologize for showing this guys, but you know what? A lot of this stuff just is, goes unnoticed and unchecked. And sadly people live like this. But that seems to be it for the upstairs. Wow. Oh, the floor is squishy underneath my feet. But see, look at this. Like, as soon as you walk in, you got all these, these animal cages, dog cages, I'm assuming. But the decay and the just, these cobwebs are, are staggering. I've never seen them like this before. Never seen cobwebs this thick. It's really, I'm like, 
I want to go check out what's in this room because that clear plastic tells me there's something back there. Well, it looks like there's pretty big rooms. But before we get, like, look at this. It's just so overwhelming. More cages, another one, another one, another one. And plants, like. Wow. Honestly, guys, I am shocked at this place. So there was a newer refrigerator here, but just sitting in the middle of the floor, probably this is where it stood. I am not going over there. You can see it's all buckling and there's lots of water filled, but wow. See if I can zoom in to give you guys a better view of everything that's on the counters over there without actually going over there. Like, this is just really sad and also like incredible like what a find and look at the stacks of dog food bags more crates over here and what's really sad is the thickness of the stuff that's in the crate which tells me unless it was bedding it's probably just like poop and everything like that oh wow and there's the old refrigerator and the cobwebs are just I don't even know what to say about them. It's just shocking. It's a beautiful big house, but look at this. Hole's been ripped open right through the wall. So there's dogs like just running wild in here. Look at the bags and bags of dog food everywhere. It's just, ugh, I bet these are bags of poop. It kind of looks like it could be because it's a hoarder. I'm not going to go back there. It does not look safe at all. Ugh. Very sad and scary. Ugh. Closet. Wow. All the clothes and look at the layers of cobwebs. Oh, there's actually some pictures on the wall. Wow. Oh, it just absolutely reeks in here, guys. Oh my God. Look at this. This is just oh nightmares oh my like, i can't even get into here because look at the cobwebs the bathroom is just layered with oh oh my gosh Guys, this is really sad. Some old photos of people. Looks like they might be French. Basing that entirely on the beret. Oh. Wow. And just crates upon crates, guys. And there's just, ugh. I don't even want to stay in this room anymore. This is just really bad in here. I feel like I'm going to puke. Ugh. Now, let's go see that this area over here. Like, look at these plants. Oh, look at this little Titanic. Now there is a basement. I'm not sure if I want to go down. I'm not going to go down the stairs. I can tell you that much. Because it's just black mold and does not look safe at all. There, it is a walkout. If we can get through the basement from the walkout, I'll do it. But I'm not going down those stairs. Wow. Oh, look at this. A grandfather clock. Then you got all these plants sitting here. Very, very rotten floor. So this is directly below that one bedroom that had the ceiling all caving in. I guess there was two of those, but so this is gonna be probably like a dining room area. There's a hutch here. 
You got a nice chandelier. Well, not nice, but an 80s big chandelier. Looks like anything that might have been in the hutch is long gone. And just random. Oh, look at all this Bowflex stuff. This is like all the Bowflex. Uh, 2012 is this date on here that I can see for all this Bowflex stuff. Looks like it's all free. Or a bunch of it was free. Total order, zero dollars. So here's the other side of that plastic. I don't know why that would be walled off. That's odd, but it was over there as well. So I'm wondering if it was to keep the dogs from moving over here because it's a lot cleaner per se. Look, oh my God. There's, like this has been for like a giant bird. You know, this is a huge bird cages. There's two of them. <laughs> Holy crap, look at this room. Bird cages all over the place. And of course, there's like a Christmas ornament because that's kind of standard. That bandos, there's always Christmas stuff. But we'll check that out in a second. I also spotted this. It's like a hutch and it's full of little ornaments. Look at this, the whole barnyard's in here. And then same down here. Wow. Someone's like prized possessions are here and just all still set up, but wow. Look at this. Actually got a nice desk right there, but I cannot believe how many bird cages there are in here. Like there's antique ones. Like that one's pretty cool right there. Actually, they're all pretty cool. I'm assuming this person who was living here was a collector because I could not see having this many birds in the house, but who knows? I mean, look at them all. All over the ground too, like all the way up there. There's anyways a. But like, look at these. Look, there's even fake birds in this one. Or taxidermy birds. Jeez. Oh, there's so many bird cages, I'm getting caught on them, guys. Like, look at even more. There's there's probably at least a hundred in this room alone. And this would be a great room. Uh, I mean, it would be called the great room. It's sad that it's just, well, this whole house would have been beautiful at one time. And it's just gone to crap. Look at this window. Wow, the decay in there. I'm absolutely amazed by this place. So this person was clearly an animal lover based on the fact that we have all those dog kennels and like clearly they were breeding them. And uh, then we had upstairs where all the other little cages and whatnot and all these cages. Like this person was, it's like almost they had their own zoo here. And guys, we haven't even checked out the whole property yet because there's still other stuff. Yeah, don't go that way. So guys, there's a mansion way over there. And here I am in the back, and look at this. There's all sorts of animal runs. I'm probably going to guess they're dogs. There's like two, four, six, eight, ten different little runs there. And there's a few other buildings that I'm definitely going to check out. But uh, such a weird place. I mean, I've never seen such a, a place that gets so overrun with animals before. I mean, we just I just posted... That one time cap, or one that one not time capsule, but one house that uh, stunk a pee. But this was actually layers and layers of poop. Like we're gonna wash all of our gear as soon as we, we're done here, because it's just disgusting. Now I'm gonna check out these barns here. Look at this. A little bit of a path. Now the pathways are probably from animals that are like wild animals, deer and whatnot, and coons, because there's a lot of food and stuff around and animal stuff. So it's a good spot for them to. You know, go and scavenge. Not gonna lie, when we first got to the house, I was a little scared. When I looked inside to see all those crates, I thought animals were gonna be running wild in there. Now, Zay did say she heard or saw a squirrel, but I'll go check that out in a second. There's old stone house ruins there. 
Oh, there is a, I can get to the other side. Let's go to this one first. So this is just a cattle barn or something. Just, oh, it's like so soft because of like layers and layers of manure. And I hope the SPCA came and scooped up all these animals because this is horrifying conditions for any anybody, never mind people, but animals too. Like this is just terrible. It's it's squalor. Also got to be careful on these properties, guys, because you never know if there's a well that's out there. So you always got to be paying attention to where you're walking in tall grass. Okay, here we go. It's a big old barn. Wow. Like stacks and stacks of garbage over there. And animal crates for days. Wow. Interesting, those pillars they use to, uh, like their culvert pipe. But yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's the end of this epic adventure. Huge abandoned country mansion full of dog cages and really everything actually was left behind. Probably a dog breeder, but also an animal lover because we saw fish tanks, we saw gerbil tanks, we saw rat uh, crates and cages and tons and tons of bird cages. But anyways, guys, if I can find any information, rhythmrider.com, my blog, I always have anything I can find there on the blog, so definitely check it out. But anyways, guys, tell me what you think in the comments down below. If you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe, smash the like button. And remember, guys, always come back because Rhythm Rider always has that epic. All right, thanks for watching. Peace.